Taking action against climate change and improving conservation is vital to the future of our planet. To do this, we must understand the history of Earth. I'm interested in what are the processes and events that have happened through time to give us our landscapes? How have those processes and events, so bushfires or droughts or changes in climate or the arrival of people, how that influences um, the natural world? Dr. Michael Sean Fletcher is an Indigenous scientist who specialises in geography, ecosystems, landscapes and climatology. A lot of my research focuses on the role of Aboriginal people in creating the Australian landscape. And it turns out through a lot of research that I've done is, is that many places that we consider wilderness, uh, in particular say the Tasmanian Wilderness World Heritage Area, is actually a constructed landscape, a landscape that was created by people intentionally with fire to manipulate the landscape to create a landscape that was resource rich for them. His research helps inform conservation management. I get these pictures of the past that are a product of a really complex array of processes and I feel like a detective really. It's exciting. You get the butterflies in your stomach when you're sort of, oh wow, all of these things have locked into place and it can't be anything but that that explains why this landscape was like this at this particular time. Frank Loban is also a passionate Indigenous scientist and his research involves managing marine resources like fish populations. I come from the Torres Straits. One of the primary industries or economy for my people is the fishing industry and my people, they have a strong drive to manage their own resources. Mr Loban, a PhD student, is trying to find a solution to bridge the gap between government, corporate stakeholders and Indigenous people when it comes to managing marine resources and fishing. There's much to learn from um, other Indigenous peoples across the world, especially those who are already engaged uh, in commercial fisheries management. To further their research, both scientists have been awarded the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Scientist Travelling Research Award. It will give me the opportunity to learn and hopefully provide that experience back to Australia and my people in general. It's great that they're recognising Indigenous people in science. They're our premier scientific body, so it's great to have my science recognised and awarded.